Uh, this is Jim again. I thought I'd shoot a short video just to show you um, some features of JRMI. Um, talk a little bit about the Sprog 3 again and and uh, just show you some neat stuff. Not so much how it's all put together tonight, just um, some features that you can get and some things I've been playing with that give you an idea of the things you can do with it. And I'm still learning lots of stuff on this. It's pretty new to me. But uh, you can see my my N700 rolling by right there. And I got a TGV here sitting on the line just waiting for a command to get going. So I'm going to do that here in just a second. First, just a quick recap. I've got a Sprog 3 back here, this tiny beige box. I'm trying to get it in the shot. This operates the entire system. Um, it's got you know one set of wires that run to this small black power adapter. It's right here behind this tech. And then this is the actual command station. And then it has a USB uh, plug that runs into your PC. And then we got the JM, JRMI software here that operates everything. Um, that runs all your trains and does it. You can see here I've got all the throttles for my trains up. I've got my track, most of my track layout. I've got new tracks. So I don't have the whole picture there. Um, just thought I'd show you real quick uh, one of the switches in action. You can see here's the graphical representation of it. All I have to do is click on that circle and it does it. So here we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it's switching that big switch right there. You can hear the click for sure, I hope. And so that helps me control all these switches. Everywhere you see a circle, I can operate the switch, back trains in and out, do all kinds of neat stuff with that. So let me do this. First, just to show you the throttles. All this on the you know laptop, basically, you know, it's all done with a mouse. So there's no touch screen going on with this. And I'll show you some of that in a minute. But I'm going to get the TGV rolling a little bit. and let me throttle it up just a little more and it's off and running so that guy is on its way it's a really long one I've got 10 cars on it so it actually takes a while to go by um, you can see the slot car track so I got something to play my kids with along with the trains there it goes way down the line People ask me how long that is and other posts, it's 18 feet. It's a one car garage I'm in right now, kind of my workshop and playroom. Got a little air conditioning unit here because Texas has notoriously hot summers. There goes the TGV rolling by. And I'll wait for the N700 to go by and then we'll get back to the JRMI stuff because I just like watching the trains roll by. Here comes the next one. Pretty cool. All right, I got a couple things here I want to show you. I've got an iPad and I've got an iPhone. Let me start with the iPhone. Um, up here, you'll see I'm running a thing called We Throttle. Uh, it's a piece of software you can get for the iPhone. You can find it. It's an app out there. As as I usually say, I got an app for that. Here it is, the We Throttle. You can see it popped up right here and saw it, I, Jim Stevens iPhone, so it knows it's there. I'm going to pick the TGV and hit set. I get a green. I go back to throttle and I'm running the TGV. Now watch me do this with the phone and watch the throttle right here as I move it. You can see me move it on the phone. It's also moving the throttle on the screen. So I can control it. The nice thing about this thing is it if I go back to select, I'll pick another one. I'll pick the uh, other train that's running. Where is it? I don't think I see it there right now. It has recents. Yeah, I'm not sure why that one's not there. It should be there. Um, generally, it picks up the train names from your um, from the trains that you put in here in JRMI. Like I said, I haven't com completely figured it all out, so I'm not I'm not going to claim that I know exactly how all this has worked yet. Let me throttle this baby back up just because I like to watch it roll. But you can control two trains with it. It's got two throttles. Pretty neat. You can scroll left and right here. You can even control your turnouts. And you got some F buttons. And there's your basics. Light, F1, F2, F3. So nice little controller. 
Um, like I said, I hadn't completely figured this all out. Um, just playing with it a little bit. Um, I'm going to probably get better at it. I'm going to play with it some more. So just wanted to show you that's available and looks pretty handy. You can have it. A lot of people I know use this and seem to really like it. It is easy to use and a nice way to control your trains while you're walking around and picking other trains. And in the past it showed me all the trains that I had up here on the throttle screen but I just messed with some settings right before I started shooting this video so obviously I've turned something on or off that's causing that not to show. Let me show you the next thing. My iPad. I got an old iPad here. Actually I think this is either the first version of the iPad or the second version. And I really wanted a touch screen and mobility but you can't get that with the, with the, you know, the USB tethered to the controller on this laptop. So, Windows, let me get in here. Bear with me, I'm having to do this with only two hands. But Windows, uh, you can hop on as a remote desktop, which is a pretty standard feature of Windows. And um, there are lots of apps out there that enable you to control your PC with an iPad. Control your PC with an iPad. So in my case, I picked an app out there called Jump. It was well reviewed and cost you know ten or twelve bucks. Let me hit it. There's my laptop right there. I'm gonna hit that, and we should see some action here. Voila! PC, iPad, PC, iPad. An exact duplicate of it. Very very neat. Now I'm going to need to find a place to sit this down so I can hold the camera and do things and show it to you. So I'm going to scoot away from the train set. Little thing about it, rubber. Just we plan this out very well. So I'm going to hold it like this. It up now. See if I can prop it a little bit. Some. I got. Hey, <laughs> train track. Some track. Here we go. <laughs> so this bit guy. I can literally. With I can get it where you can see. It. See, I can literally make the pointer come up to a throttle, and control the throttle. I just double tap it, and I can juice it up, and away the train goes. The cool thing, oh, let me fix that because I want to see the train going. So let me do that again. Okay. The cool thing is, I can also double click on all, I can click on these switches and throw them so I can throw switches but however I want pretty neat so this this little deal last night I was playing with it and uh, I'm sitting away from my track right now and I'm over here on my chair and last night I did a session where I ran this thing essentially all night. I mean for like an hour I did a session and controlled it and ran it and had a really good time. I pulled some trains in and out of their stations and operated them and uh, had a lot of fun with it. So I actually had a, a kind of a flawless session last night doing this. Uh, really really cool deal. Hear that? I just thought I'd show you this. I'm hitting the switch down here. Hopefully you can hear the click but it definitely works. I'm throwing the switch back and forth. Something weird happened just a second ago when I was doing this throttle. Let me get it going again. There goes my orange train. I just started it up. So it took a little while to get the hang of this. You know, it's not perfect, but it's nice. And the nice thing is, I got the whole thing here. I've got all the throttles, I got the graphics to do all my switches, and I'm running all my trains and I am tether free right so nice thing is everything I'm doing here is happening over there on my laptop which uh, so just like I'm over there controlling it right and it's just Windows software doing that I mean it's just a remote desktop it's been around a long time it's available in all the different versions of Windows um, this jump utility I'm using is one of many that you can get off the um, off the Apple site to control the PC. Um, if you're using an Android app um, and a tablet, I'm sure they have software that does the exact same thing. Like I said, it's a very common thing to take over a PC and run it like this. So, 
just thought I'd show you that. It's kind of a, a neat thing to be able to do to walk around your layout and, and see things and run your trains and then run it all right here. So I've got some other ideas that I've been kicking around. This is pretty cool. I think uh, the only thing I don't like about this, I guess, is that it's a little awkward with this little circle you touch with your finger and to move the arrow around, but after about 10 or 15 minutes you get the hang of it. I might at another point look into a pure touch screen, the new ones that came out with Windows 2008, and play around with just a touch screen that's pure that way. It's real all a convenience factor, right? But I, I do like being untethered like this. And frankly, once you get this working, I'm not so sure I need that, right? The iPhone thing is really neat and it has a purpose, especially if you've got visitors and you want to run a big club deal. They can show up with their iPhones and operate stuff. But it's also pretty neat just to have this tablet and do it that way. So it's kind of long-winded, but I thought I'd give you all just a quick review of how I'm using it. And uh, happy, have a happy time with your trains. I'll do one last show of my TGV coming around the corner here, coming down the long stretch. A little floor level shot to finish it off. And away.